Hey guys, so welcome back. So today I'm going to show you my everyday face routine. This is what I do every morning, so I thought I would go ahead and share it with you guys. So don't be alarmed, it's just me. I know, scary, right? <laughs> We're going to start with a face moisturizer, anything that you may have in your collection. And also I'm going to be applying my Professionals um, Skin Primer. This is just to make my makeup go on nice and smooth. Because I do um, have a lot of discoloration on my skin, I feel like um, my pores are a lot more open. So this definitely helps. And I'm just pointing out I have a lot of discoloration and dark circles, which is no good. So we're going to go ahead and fix that with some concealer. And I know you might be wondering why not just use foundation. I still want more of a natural look, so this is more of a light coverage option for me. But if you would like to use um, foundation, you're more than welcome to. And I'm also going to apply this underneath the eyes. And you'll see in a second the big difference that it makes on my face. It just makes me look a lot more awake. The other side, I just look really dead. So this is something that I must do. And still just applying that to the various areas. And then I'm going to blend that out with my sponge. You can use a beauty blender or a sponge, anything that you have. I would recommend damping it because it definitely makes everything just more smooth and blend in very nice. So here I'm starting with the eyebrows and I just brush them up with a spoolie and then fill them in. I just start with a line on the bottom just to make it look very clean. Then I move on next to my tail and then finally I do a line on the top. And then without adding any extra product, I just blend everything in all together. And then last, I just take a little bit of concealer just to clean up the edges, just to make it look a little bit more polished. And then my final step is just brushing everything out with a spoolie, just making sure the color is even and it makes it definitely look more natural. So here you can see the difference and I definitely need to fill in those things. Just put on a neutral skin tone color on my eyelids because I have oily lids and they are dark than my face so I use this just to make me look a little bit more awake and my skin to match all over. Next I'm just applying my brightening concealer and we all know how this goes just apply it underneath the eyes and then blend it out the way you see fit. I'm going to be using my sponge as well. I feel like this makes it just look a little bit more um, smooth and seamless. But you can use a brush or your fingers, it doesn't matter. So next I'm going to be taking the bronzing palette from e.l.f. And I love this palette. I just got it. It was only $5. And it has two bronzing powders and two highlighters. So I have pretty much defined cheekbones already. So I just use this just for a little bit more extra depth and color. Because since I evened out my skin tone, we don't want to look flat. So I just add this back onto the face. And I'll be using the highlighter from this palette as well. And you'll see in a second, the color payoff is excellent for only $5. As you can see, I'm like, okay, this is, this is what I want. This is so bright and just exactly what you want for a highlighter so I'm just going to apply that right to the top of the cheeks and I would definitely suggest if you're looking for a, a palette with nice payoff to definitely get this palette for your bronzer or your highlighter you can't go wrong 
So next we're going to be adding the blush and it's also from e.l.f. and it's a deep rosy color and you will probably never catch me without blush. And Maybe one day I might skip the highlight or skip the bronzer but I'm always going to have blush. I think blush just looks so nice on my skin tone and it complements me very well. So I love, love, love blush. And then last, we're going to be setting everything with a translucent powder, and I'm just going to apply that underneath the eyes to set the concealer, and then just using the remainder to blend everything out so the highlight, blush, and contour just looks very blended and very natural. And I'm an oily skin, so I use this basically for oil con oil control instead of a like a setting powder or pigmented powder because um, I do typically get oily during the day. And then here I'm just doing a little light contouring on the nose just to, I mean, who doesn't like a contoured nose? So, <laughs> and um, last, just setting that with the powder. Like I said, I do get oily right in that area, so I'm really concentrating the powder there. And then last, we're just going to um, apply some lip liner. It's a natural lip color. I have pigmented lips, but I want to add some color. So I'm going to apply some lip liner first and then fill it in. And then I'm going to apply a um, soft neutral nude color to the lips. But I typically switch up the lip color here and there. Um, this is just what I chose to do today because it's more of a natural everyday look. And last, I'm just going to finish off finish off with some gloss. Oh, I can't even talk today. <laughs> and that's the finished look. Oh, wait, no. I think um I think I need some more blush. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> like I said, y'all, I love me some blush, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you a little cheekbone, you know. <laughs> And I think that's finally it, really. So that's the finished look. I'm just going to zoom in and show you guys how everything looks up close. Still very natural, but yet just a little pizzazz, a little something. Oh, wait, one more thing. I just keep forgetting everything. Um, I'm going to spray my face with a setting spray. This is from e.l.f., but you can use whatever you have. And this just locks everything in. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.